to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Dave's uh, <laughs> big day for you. Huge. Huge nights. Nerves. Are they coming out the diarrhea? Up uh, too much. Boob sweat. Ah, didn't need to hear that. Pepto. Yikes. <laughs> oh. Butt sweat. No. Nope. Listen. None of that. Needs Drinking broets is coming out tonight. Tonight. Dropping at eight. E S T. Subscribe on YouTube iTunes, Spotify, all Wherever the places you... you can listen or watch a podcast. Yeah, whatever your favorite place is to watch or listen. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, we're amps for you. Thanks. I get a chance to listen to uh, about 80% of your episodes so far. It's mm-hmm. great. You guys are hilarious together. Thanks. You and Tiffany Hart. Thanks. So I'm excited for, for what happens in the future. Um, also, don't want to listen to it anymore after that. So I love you. Okay, because... You don't want to know too much about your partner, you know? True. I mean, I do not listen to... Drinking Bros. Drinking Bros. I used to have to because I edited all of it. Yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't good for our relationship. I have to be honest. How many fights did we get over where I'm like, well, heard the last episode. Yeah. And minute, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> so same. Her tits were wet. Right. I'm like, it's... how do you know? How did you know her tits were wet? Exactly. Right. Exactly. So same kind of thing. I don't need to listen anymore. I got the gist of it, but yeah. it is, it's great. I think for women in particular, I think this is a, a great show. I like the dynamic between the two of you guys. The fact that she's a fucking military badass and thinks that girls can do anything, which is totally not true. And you live on that side of like, eh, we really can't do that much. Well, I'm just, I, you know, I'm also just a civilian dum dum. And the things that I care about are different. <laughs> and we're educating each other on things. She said she's the other day. She's a go-getter. Like, uh, yay, super positivity. It's, she's one of those people, and I love her. She's fantastic. But she's one of those people who, if she sees a dude benching like 300 pounds, she'll be like, I could do that. And it's like, yeah. no, you can't. But she'll spend the next 10 years trying well, to bench she, 300. Here's the other thing. She may be able to. Yeah, But that maybe. doesn't mean that anyone else can. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, just so, uh, you know, what did she say the other day, Jamie? She was like, no, you're super smart with certain things. Boom, burn. Yeah. Um, yeah. so that's the, that's the dynamic. I'm real smart with certain things. Uh, the, the other thing I like about it a lot is, um, you guys have a really easy rapport. I would definitely move to split screen on your videos. Yes, we are going to. Two girls talking that fast. I haven't heard a show like that where i mean it's great for audio listeners yeah because you Video, guys don't you have to worry about to split screen it yeah it's yeah, great yeah, there's yeah. not one single second of dead air which is amazing between you guys because that is extremely rare in podcasting and it's very hard to do and we've tried to do it before in the past with other people and dudes and chicks and all that stuff and it's 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 hard um you guys have a an easy natural rapport um that is great to listen to and i like the 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 fact that it's not like a Horish podcast of like, hey, we're just a couple of whores talking about whorish shit. Right. Because I've heard that before. And I think, yes. I think, look, Caller Daddy does that to a great level of. And there's a place for it. And guys, it. we fucked. Right. It's great. Like, right. I, I enjoy both of those shows. It's just more for guys. So, like, the percentage of guys yeah. that listen to Call Her Daddy are way higher than girls, where we want a girl show that the percentage of girls listening is really high. Yeah, 50 50 would be a nice split. It would. That's what a everybody hopes for in any girls. show. Right. But that's what everybody hopes for in any show, to be honest yeah. with you. So uh, subscribe if you have not already. Go to iTunes. Write a review. Give it a five star. Drinking Bro Etz. It is our spinoff show. It'll be here to stay. I mean, obviously tonight we're dropping nine episodes. Is mm-hmm. it nine? Yeah, it's nine tonight. Um, so, yeah. Crazy. Crazy days. Diarrhea. Nope. Again, don't need to. Boob sweat. Nope. No need to hear any of it. Bup sweat. Nope. Nah, Pepto. Just keep it on. Keep that beak shut. Uh, Jamie, you want to kill her mic for about five <laughs> to ten here? Uh, let let Jesus take the wheel on this one because we do not need to hear about any you of Jesus? that. Uh, some might say. I mean, in that scenario. I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you asked me that. 
I had a combo. I'm sure you are glad. I had a combo this week. Now, this is, this is real. We had a combo this week on Drinking Bros Sports about people who thank Jesus Christ after winning awards or winning mm-hmm. football games or mm-hmm. baseball games. The, the head coach of Clemson, that, that is his go-to. Thanking God. Thank you to our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord and Savior. Through him, anything is possible. So that's what he always leads with, right? Okay. My point was, no, it's not. Because Ohio State believes in Jesus. And Do they it know? wasn't possible that they won. Like, you know? Well, if, if through Christ anything was possible, if it was, if that was true, Ohio State would have won. It would have been a tie game. We'd all go home winners. Maybe we'd, we'd walk off the field, hands intertwined, and go skip through some fucking daisies. But that's not true. And I hate it when musicians do it as well. They get up there at the Grammys and they're like, oh man, I want to thank God. Did God not like the other people in that category? Mm. Because there's only one winner up there. There's only one guy holding that fucking trophy. I can't stand that shit. Like, it's one thing to say, hey man, thanks God. But when you start saying through all, you know, it's all possible, it's not. Because Mm -hmm. there's going to be losers that day. Mm -hmm. Um, Now, if you're a normal human walking around in life, living your day, enjoying your truth, Sure, it's fine to say through Christ anything's possible. Owning the now. Yeah. yeah. If you're at Starbucks or wherever the fuck it is you go, you know, Office Depot throughout the day, picking up shit and say, hey, man, thanks for your help today. Through Christ anything is possible. Ah, right. That's a nice thing to walk away with. You right. Know? It's like, right. Oh, shit. All right, cool. But when you're relating it to winning something, a trophy in this life, yeah. it's fucking bullshit. So take her on down the road. Anywho, to that point, I said... My record was 83% winning in college football this year. Mm-hmm. To my knowledge, that is the best in the, the United States. Out of any websites, any talking head, nobody's been able to beat that this year. I put all of my monies, all of my American dollars on Clemson. I don't want you to know that amount. I'm glad you don't listen I don't to that show. I don't want to know it. Nope. And I put all my American dollars on do. Clemson winning, and the LSU fans were obviously pissed. Sure. And here, here's, here was what I said. And they sa- put like little voodoo curses on you, huh? Tried to. I, I think so. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing. There's People something with, like, going the, on in Drinking Bros, Louisiana. Mm-hmm. With you. Yeah. Your face. Yeah. Your mustache. Is that, was, is that real? <laughs> yeah, that's what those fucking crazy fucks do. That's all they have. <laughs> There's something going on in that group. I don't know what it's, what's going on. I keep getting text messages. Anyways, I said if I won this game and I picked the winner, this would be my second year in a row. Mm-hmm. Um, from start to, I'm talking before the season started. We've we picked these teams, and uh, if I win again, then I think Dabo should say, in Clemson fans and LSU fans, should say that I'm the Jesus Christ of college football gambling. You know, it's got to be a figure in every every form of that should be easy job, right? That should be easy to get them to do. So let me ask you this: Do you know anybody, Jamie? Do you know anybody in town who uh, can make a bronze? Or a gold statue of me and then hang me on a cross? Yes. Great. The trophy shop. The, uh, the trophy shop can. Ooh. Can they make it, though? I think they can. A bobblehead. Oh, boy. A bobblehead bronze? I would like a... Crucified you? I wonder if I Ooh. could get a bust of myself. That'd probably be a little much if I hung that on the set. Um, but, you know, for our house, I think it'd be great for when people come over. Just put that right over the mantle. A bust of you? Yeah. Like just right on the mantle. Like a nice Christ-like bust. I'm going to have to lose a bet for that to happen. Long hair, beard, a very Christ-like figure of myself on the mantle. And uh, I think it would be a fun thing when people come over from the neighborhood. Crown of Buckeyes? Yeah. yeah. (laughs) Loser. Sure. Why not? And then what we could do? Honestly, why not? Put it up there. What do I care? We could put some bread and wine next to it. And then just have a, like, for pe- when people come over for, like, a cocktail party and be like, hey, uh, the bread and wine's on the, the mantle next to Ross's If we could make it Jesus. functional, I will, where it's like you dip out of your head or something. Oh, I saw your dream the other day, speaking of dip. Somebody posted it. <laughs> Somebody posted it on uh, uh, Barstool Sports that it was the, the, the hardest flex of all time. And I was like, for Jesse, it is. Somebody had a fucking ranch fountain oh i saw their this. event saw this obviously got tagged a bunch thank you guys <laughs> i was like you gotta be shitting uh, me i didn't know that existed oh well the the apparatus exists right so you're mm-hmm. either putting chocolate or i thought ranch, ranch was too thick oh no i thought it was too thick for oh a, no have you a fountain like that oh 
you don't know what I don't you're like that about. runny ranch that shit that you you'll eat any ranch so it doesn't matter yeah I've I, never met a ranch I don't like so I've only met one that I do like and it's yours mm. but I think you put sour cream in it so I do I make it's not it's not crazy but <laughs> when you get the packets of ranch it mm-hmm. says mix with 16 ounces of sour cream why why don't I, why doesn't everybody do that why doesn't everybody do that? Yeah. It's more of like a dip consistency. Uh, so it's not really for a salad, right? Well, I mean, look, you can't be perfect at everything, I guess. But uh, yeah, because that, that would be too thick. The dip you make. You yeah, you can't put it on a salad, right? No. But it's definitely to like dip. They're just hard clumps coming down the fountain. You're like, oh, God. Uh-huh. It'd be like uh, Vesuvius. There's lava ranch popping down the thing. Yeah. Uh, but either way. I was like, man, if we ever renew our vows somewhere, oh yeah, gotta get that ranch fountain for everyone. Um, ooh, we need to start thinking of places to renew it that is like that, right? Mm-hmm. Just trash. Yeah, just total trash places. <laughs> like we'll go to Longhorn and rent out. We'll rent out a Longhorn. Oof, Longhorn's putting a lot of ads up lately. I don't know what the deal I don't is. Know what's going? Oh, on. You keep they're seeing them too, right? Yeah, they're trying to revamp. Of Something what? must have happened. It's a I don't fucking know. middle of the road steakhouse. Yeah, but you're, they're doing it. it with Denny's too. They're just reintroducing you to things you already know. Right? By the way, if you, if you love Longhorn at home, I'm not shitting on it because I I enjoy I enjoy Outback it's and all of the other. No, it's perfectly chain, mediocre. Yeah, yeah, chain middle of the road restaurants. Perfectly I get down fine. on that shit. Not, yeah. So yeah. I think their rolls are kind of amazing. They have something that's like, ooh, the Longhorn this right? Yeah. I think it's rolls or something. I don't know. Well, the Texas roll, it's bigger here than anywhere else. You know, Hooters just rolled out their meatless wings. What's in them? It's kind of like the Beyond Burger situation. So it, uh, they look Christ. like wings. Nope. Feel like, apparently, nope. like. Uh, no. I'm going to have to try them. I'm going to have to not. You can have regular wings while I try them, but I, I have to try them because I've been talking so much shit about Meatless them. wings? Jesus Christ. I don't need that. Mm-mm. Who who thought of that? You know what I'm saying? Everyone's freaking out about this game changer. Yeah, I'm not documentary on Netflix where it's like you have to go plant based everything and like Beyond Burger and all these. It just seems to me that what you have to do to make it taste like meat, yeah, seems so unnatural to me. Right, like all the different things they have to do chemically, you know, putting different things together that shouldn't be, you know. Where it might even be cleaner to just have the meat. Um, Burger King's getting sued for that right now. They said there's meat in that Impossible Whopper. Um, no, not meat, but they do cook it on the grill. And some fucking idiot was like, sued them because of that. Mm. Because they cook it on the same, same grill as the they meat. cook the meat. So there's trace amounts. You fucking loser. <laughs> you loser. <laughs> yeah, I don't get down on the, those janky ass substitutes. There's only one in this life that I do. It's mayonnaise light. It's the only thing that tastes relatively the same is like the... But that's not even remotely close to what we're talking about. No, but th- that's the one thing that, that is rich that they have dumbed down. And I'm like, eh, I really don't taste a difference. Now, with the meatless wings, I guarantee you if I had those, mm-hmm. I would sit down and be like, this tastes like dog shit. Well, low I'll fat and light things, the reason you don't taste a difference is that they take out fat and they put in salt and sugar. So, of course you don't. Um, that's not what we're talking about. But we're talking about fake meat and what they have to do to make it feel and taste, right? So, w- wouldn't you be um, a little bit... I don't think it the bit, same. That's my point. Little, of course. A little bit curious to see like how that wing... Taste. I'll taste one. Like of I'm yours. sure you're like. Yeah. I'll, I'll taste one. It's going to be gross. Do it. Yeah, it's going to be disgusting. But it's so fascinating, like how they're trying, and now they're like growing meat in petri dishes. Oh God. So they don't have to kill animals. And Welcome, stuff? fucking Oof. robots are coming, dude. Oof. Yeah, there's there's certain Why things. Why does in that this feel life... weird? Like that feels so much. That feels so much worse to me. There's certain things in this life that I just can't fucking get down on, and. uh I Petri just, dish chicken is one of them. That's that's it. For sure. The, all the fake shit. The uh, I can't get down on a bidet since we're, since we're just opening up here. Mm-hmm. Can't get down on a bidet either. We actually technically have to get down on it. So you didn't. You've never. Uh, you, you yes, you, you do and you don't. Oh, you know, you just you got to get hover. up and then wipe because you're yeah. wet. You're wet as fuck. That's dripping everywhere. Mm-hmm. Like any 
toilet item like that that requires me to wipe my ass with a fucking towel, a hand towel, mm-hmm. it's too much, dude. Who can do that much laundry? Right. You know? Yeah. You ever done it at a hotel? A bidet? Yeah. You ever bidet yourself? No. Try it. You get up and you're wet and you're like, know, oh, what I've do I do now? I've never wanted to. I did it for the, for the culture, obviously, but uh, once I did it, I was just like, oh, fuck, what do I do now? Yeah. This Jump is- in the shower? Yeah. Like I, I there's a lot a more when it comes to bidets. There's a lot more questions than answers. Yeah. So eh. just don't just there's some things you just didn't uh, substitute in this life. Is all I'm saying. I got you. Bidet, wings, burgers, fair that type of shit. That's fair. No, I'm I'm into it. Like yeah. even if the Beyond Burger to me, like everyone's like, try it. It's so amazing. Or the Whopper, or whatever. Try it. I mean, I'm curious, but that would never be my staple. Mm hmm. Right, I would never want to put that much weird, <laughs> chemically, you know, f- weird. I don't know. Okay. I know it's all plants, but it's like the things that they have to do to it just seems crazy. To I me. bet you're shitting through a screen door afterwards too. That or you're all blocked up. I mean, one or the other. Oof. You know what I mean? Is it all carbs? I don't know. I don't either. I don't either. I'll you give. I'll give it, it a run with you. I'll put a put a wing in my mouth. I mean, we should definitely try it. Yeah. Put a wing in my mouth, figure it out, see what happens. See the texture? I'm sure you're just going to be like, fuck no. Oh, I'm sure. With a wing? The Impossible Whopper, you may be like, uh, it's okay. It's like I'll burger, it it's like the meat isn't that great anyways there, right? Right. So it's not going to be like, oh my God. <sighs> it doesn't taste as good as a fucking shitty like Whopper burger patty. King, dude. For sure. But I don't think, you know, as long as you're adding oil and salt and cheese and mayonnaise and all the things that they put on it i'm sure you can handle double it. whopper with cheese is one of the best in the biz as far as bergs go for me drive through i'm not talking about like shake shack and in and out oh sure but, sure uh drive through wise who balls Hoo-wee. uh shake shack is i would say on a different level it's gonna be hard not to go in vegas Ugh. it's right there it's right, right outside there the it's arena. gonna be right outside right outside the arena um, I'm going for the Conor McGregor fights, and that is literally outside the arena. When I leave, a fight will probably get over at like 10, and I'll be walking oh. out, and I have to walk past that. Yikes. Drunk to the hotel room? Like, what's to stop you from just I don't know. a little? Plus, everything's legalized in, in Vegas, so it's like there's a weed shop right in the corner there. Boom. What a great night. Because for UFC fights, something that long. I want to pop in an edible if I can sit back and relax. I wonder if our last night we should. Uh, get a Shake Shack. Edible Shake Shack. I'm down. Take, take Vegas by storm. Yeah. I, uh, I always have to go to Joe's, but Joe's you can eat healthy. Yeah. Joe's I mean, you don't have to get carbs if you don't want, right? So and it's all like, be all restaurant in this world. And then without a friend of ours is a bartender there. So we always just cozy up to the bar. You're waiting until I get there, right? Or yes. I will wait okay. for you. Uh, we always just cozy up to the bar and... We treated right all night. It's great. We just roll, that, roll in yeah. with a hat on. They all know us. It's oh, fucking totally. awesome. We get to eat at the bar? Yes. Yeah. We, do it, we, we do it every... Tr- oh, you're not there. Um, <laughs> you've never been there with, with me. I'm sorry. Uh, I do it all the time. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, you do. But you could just get crab legs, drinks. Yep. The thing is like Mastro's, you can't really... It's really hard to eat healthy there because the the sides are the best the sides and then the steak is just drown i mean it's just a buttery Those two drowning. restaurants are my favorite in the entire world yeah one of them i won't be able to go to this trip yeah 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 so uh joe's we can snuggle up though go to the end of the bar yeah if you don't have to make rezos for the you know yeah you don't it's great we know the bartender because totally. he's got he's it's one of those jobs where uh uh fuck man he i don't want to out what his salary is but it's no, really well, high People know that it's a, it's a long time job. You're there for in Vegas. 10 years. The service industry is treated really well because it's their main mm-hmm. source of a lot of people's income, right? And for the town, so bartenders, servers, cocktail waitresses are in a union. They make about sometimes if you're really good and you've been there for a while, thirty five dollars an hour plus tips yeah. plus benefits yep. plus all of this. So they're taken care of out there. They are. They are so he's always there. Uh, it's a blast, and uh, yes, yeah, so we'll we'll pop on in there. I'll wait. I'll wait for you. Wait. I'll wait, or you'll go twice. Wait. I never had a chance to love you. That's White Lion, Jabes. 
Speaking of old hits, uh, Neo. Neo was in the news today, Jabes. Mm. He fucks to his own music. Okay. You know. Baller or not baller? Not enough to get you in, in the news. <laughs> not enough. Whatever that little tidbit is. Not enough. Do people care about Neo? You know. He really wants them to, right? Well, no, no, I don't think it's that. I don't think he's that type of guy. to your own music. I guess that's more on the girl. He's than him. a lot of people don't know this about him. He's one of the best writers. He's rich, but he writes. He's behind the scenes guy. He used to be, and uh-huh. then he became Neo. Uh-huh. And that's that's the the case with a lot of great writers in the music industry. They They're want like, to be the musicians. Turn. Yeah, exactly. It's not your turn. Yeah, um, if it was going to be your. So turn, Neo had some, Neo had some hits, and he's a good singer, but he's. Been writing bangers for people for years. So, so Neo is rich, but bang into your own music. Like I said, that's more on the girl than it is him, right? Like, because he's putting it on to be like, huh? Yeah, and if she's into yeah, it, yeah, yeah, shame yeah, on her. Yeah, I know. Shame on her. Right? <laughs> Believe me. Believe me, gals. I'm with you. I'm living it. Man, that'd be weird. Listening to yourself while you fuck. Um... You've never like chilled like with a chick and like oh let's watch new guy no but it's been oh, on let's watch okay movies have so been you on probably have too no not one of them was on on accident and i was just like oh my god and it was like a weird panic that set in and i was just like and everybody kind of looked at once it was at a party of like 20 or 30 people mm-hmm. and i was just like uh uh and then everybody was like oh fuck and i was like yeah and it was a rad night but n- i've never planned out anything where i'm like you gotta watch this this is amazing like that's too much to me mm-hmm. i wouldn't do that okay and if i was a musician i wouldn't fuck to my own music i don't think mm. be too it'd be too distracting much. yeah it'd be a little too much you know interesting coming from you i know right uh-huh one would one would think i would uh but i i just i base it on you and you'd be like dude turn that fucking shit off yeah, it'd be like putting our own podcast on in the background. Yeah, exactly. Um, I'm just picturing you now at that party. Like, oh, like you're so like. I'm not going to lie. It was fucking awesome. Once it sat in. Embarrassed, but like not. It was. I really wasn't prepared. What? And then you like had a speech ready. And no, everything. not at all. Because I didn't know if somebody had said something or what it was. And then the, like there was a commercial break. And I was like, oh, shit, it's on FX. Mm. And I was like, all right, cool. I'm like, yeah, what's up? A great night that night. Sure. Real great night. Oh, I'm sure. Um, but it was it was fun. Um, and there's been other events where people put it on, but you know, like you know, going into it, where it's just like, hey, man, we're just gonna run this on loop at a bar. Mm-hmm. And you're like, fuck yeah, dude. Um, yeah. But that's typically planned out. So, you know, what ifs? What ifs? Uh, James, I want to get to uh, your subject here. You're the fucking meds expert. A lot of people look at you online and they're like, yeah, Jesse's fucking view on medicine is amazing. Really? Mine's yeah, Ted serious. Do get some some matches. Mine's uh, matches. mine's the opposite. So, um, California <laughs> is trying to become the first state to uh, contract with uh, generic drug manufacturers to make prescription medicines to sell to residents. Um, it's it's aiming to control rising health costs, um, but uh, Gavin Newsom, who's the the governor. Mm-hmm. So this is going to be part of his new budget proposal, which is going to come out of the state funds. Um, and there, now you're getting into what kind of drugs would it produce, how much would they cost to enact it, and how much it might save, save the state. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's a population of 40 million people. California? That's a lot. I didn't know that. Yeah. Um, so one in three use state Medicaid program uh-huh. for drugs. Okay. Um, but they're betting that California's purchasing power can help offer the drugs at a lower price than they are offered commercially. Whew. So the problem with meds mostly is the big pharma, right? So if you're making it generic, that takes that equation out of it, right? Mm-hmm. So that takes the the incentive for doctors to push it, right? Because they're not getting a kickback. So generic drugs... Not as bad. So what does that mean, though, for people? It means well, that like what's the a gener- doctor- What's a generic drug, for example? Well, just, um, so... Ibuprofen? Like 800s? 
Like so generic that, uh, means that like you don't have to get that one brand. So let's say oh. Valtrex, for example, mm-hmm. is the big pharma name, right? And sure. so they're giving the kickbacks to whoever. And so they first prescribe that. Little do you know, because their patent's up or whatever, there are really, they're cheaper generic versions. But Got that's it. not what your doctor's going to tell you, right? That's not what they're going to prescribe. Um, so I don't really know what the issue is that they're trying to fix here in California, but just initially when you say that making things more generic, and uh, well, make, more- it, make it cheaper for residents because of rising health care costs in the state of California. So as Oof, you know, no one's more medicated than people in fucking California. Right. Yeah. Um, but as you know, with Obamacare, um, cause we have it, right. uh, being a small business, you, you can't afford to, I think it's 29. And, oh, if you have over 30 employees, then everybody has to be, then it's sort of like under the same health care. But if not, it's like, hey, man, trying to looking at the cost for all the employees is a small business owner. Mm-hmm. Fucking forget it. It's astronomical. But then it's like if they're more affordable, are we going to be even more medicated than we are right now? That was my question. Probably. It's just. It, it's just going to be different because if at a lower cost, you're not going to just be prescribing all over the place i don't think i don't know well at a lower cost though is that going to make people want to try it because it's like oh shit i couldn't afford that in the past uh possibly but you need the doctors to prescribe it right so like i'm saying taking the incentive away from doctors to prescribe these things Mm -hmm. is probably the best thing that can happen i don't know if that's what's happening here but that would be the best. And I think that's Bernie's st- stance. Not that, I mean, I don't agree with anything else. Right. Except for his hatred for. Big Pharma. Yeah. Yep. Um, so if you take the Which, incentive away. by the way, I, 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 sh- I share from, the same sentiments as yeah, far as so, Big Pharma goes. Yeah. So basically they're just like, you know, you're keeping people sick. You're prescribing all these things that these reps from the pharmaceutical company tell you to push. Right. Mm-hmm. So if you take away that incentive and it's just this generic drug that nobody makes money off of, no one, um, then there's less incentive to just be like, oh, you know, just do this, right? Right. It might make the doctors more, hopefully, more inclined to actually make sure their patients are well and not just throwing a bunch of stuff at them? I have no idea. Well, I will say this. I don't know what the answer is to all of it because it's really so out of control that like, I don't know if there's any solution at this point. Uh, We're all so sick. I think if there is a state that needs to be heavily medicated, it's California. It's California. So when I read this, I was like, man, pill them up. Get these fuckers to calm down and, and I would come love back. To see just come those, back down to reality a little exactly. bit. Exactly. I would love to see those stats as far as like, I feel like the rest of America is medicated with like high blood pressure medication that you don't need, cholesterol medication that's fucking you up, um, all these like, you know, insulin blockers and AFib stuff mm-hmm. that makes you sicker, sicker. Yeah. But I think probably California, I would love to see these statistics, but probably California is all head meds. And that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. Because as a whole, they are pretty healthy. Um, just I'm just numbers wise. So physically, they're they're very healthy, health conscious. They do know how to heal themselves with food and stuff like this. But they are pussies when it comes to just taking every head med that they can. Right. It's it's strange to me that states are starting to intervene um, because now let's say this goes through, right? Mm-hmm. As more and more of these states start to take control, do you think it's going to affect where people want to live based on certain laws in that state? For example, uh, this morning, I went to uh, fucking Food Lion to grab some Pedialyte for a child who's sick, Mm -hmm. and there was a huge sign at the register that I was at that said, hey guys, just a heads up, the new law that, that just got enacted only in the state of North Carolina is that we are no longer prohibiting tobacco sales for people who are 18. You now must be 21 right. to buy tobacco mm-hmm. or any smoking apparatus, uh, including vapes, mm-hmm. pens, all that other shit. Yeah. And I, I, hadn't heard, I didn't hear that. Uh, and I asked the, the clerk. I said, man, is that, is that real? Because uh, at the bottom of it said, including anybody military. Mm-hmm. 
And I was like, okay. is that real? That's serious. So it said military IDs will not be accepted uh-huh. either at mm-hmm. the bottom. And she was like, yeah, this is, uh, this is the new law that just passed or whatever. And I was like, huh. So just to clarify, I was like, uh, you can go and fight in an Iraq or Iran right now. Can't buy a pack of cigarettes, huh? She was like, um, yeah, I guess. And I was like, <laughs> the lady at makes food perfect lion. sense. Look, I know cigarettes are terrible for you. I, I smoked for 10 years. It was a long time ago. Absolutely. I, mean, I've had, I don't, shit, it's, I think it's been about 10 years since I've had a, a cigarette, obviously. Um, or I have one, but whatever. It was a, somebody famous. And I was like, fuck you. I'm going to have a cigarette. Um, and I didn't enjoy it, by the way. Um, You're going to have to tell me what it is. I did. I said it on another show. It was Post Malone. He was smoking outside. And I was just like, we were. Oh, you did? Yeah. You didn't tell me that. Had to. Had to. You did not tell me that. Yeah, fucking cigarette. Yes. It's Post Malone. Fuck off. You know? Oh, when in Rome, obviously. Um, I wouldn't smoke weed, though, on Rogan because I would be afraid of what would yeah, happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Especially um, his Even though weed. I love Joe Rogan, I just wouldn't smoke sure. weed. Sure. Yeah. I, that'd be an after thing. As all of a sudden. Go, 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 go. Go, go, Um. And I was so dizzy too, and I was just trying to play it off and oh. ride that out for like two minutes of a conversation for a cigarette in ten years. I was like, ugh. Um, it is terrible for you. I understand. Sure. Enacting it mm-hmm. to twenty one and all of that shit, mm-hmm. but uh, I have a hard time with laws that you know you could go and die, but you die for the country, but you can't drink or smoke or you know it's weird to me. That was Where's Louisiana? To this point, you can drink at 18. So you can go down to Bourbon Street at 18 and fuck shit up. I think you can probably buy cigarettes there too, <laughs> right? Um, yes. At 18? I would, I, yeah, would I mean, if you can drink there, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like when Clemson was. That would be nice to like keep all the debauchery stuff in, in areas mm-hmm. like that. I think so. So you like have to go to New Orleans to or like Vegas. buy cigarettes you can or still, Vegas. It yeah. was when we were looking at rooms for Vegas for, for next week, it was still smoking rooms. Oh, <laughs> I was like, God damn it. No. Um, but yeah, when Clemson wins, like some of those kids are 18 tonight. When, the, when Clemson wins the national championship tonight, there's, there's some Clemson kids wins, that man. are 18 years old who are going to be able to walk out of that stadium because it's only 0.4 miles to Bourbon Street. So it's, mm. it's an easy walk. Oof. Be able to walk right down to Bourbon Street and drink your fucking face off. And that's, it's going to be the greatest, it's the greatest town to have a national championship in because you can just walk down the street and get fucked up. I think up. they always should have it there. I, I agree. I, I, Can I, like, I? I love going there. Yeah. I love that. I as love far that, as stuff like that. Yeah. I love that stadium too, by the way. I know I've said this in the past, but they redid it after the Katrina shit and it's gorgeous. The stadium's gorgeous. Uh, you've been there before. Mm-hmm. Um, the club level is amazing. Like, yes, they should have every championship there. Uh, the Atlanta stadium is gorgeous, and so is Dallas. But once you get outside the stadium, you're like, ooh, where do I go now? Where am I walking to now? Because Atlanta's starting to put some bars down there. Dallas is just like, ooh, where, where am I? Because mm-hmm. this is not right. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, 18, drinking, Bourbon Street, national champion. Whoo. You know, I know I, I see your point, but also it was just getting a little bit out of control. Smoking? Jewel. It's mostly for Jewel, but they can't. If they make Jewel 21 and over, then they're just going to start smoking cigarettes, right? So I, it just got out of control, and a, and a bunch of dum dums ruined it for everyone. So I don't, just. Anybody you know, it's smoking done. Jewels, though, like, I. It, okay. Maybe this is me, and maybe I'm naive. All the people that I see on a daily basis, wherever I am in America, mm-hmm. we travel a lot. Mm-hmm. When I see somebody smoking a pen mm-hmm. or a jewel, mm-hmm. I just I just expect that it's weed and not va- like they're just smoking weed out of it, not vaping. It's not really, yeah. And it just got out of control. And all those, I know it it sounds crazy, but all those like people that died from it, and all those kids getting sick from it. And kids um, vaping that have never even smoked and right. just ruining their shit so much faster than smoking for 10 years would do. It just got out of fucking control. And it wasn't cigarettes, actually. Like, All right. Jewel takes you down. Thankfully, it took the kids down quick enough that we were like, oh, okay. And we didn't have to wait 
however long it took for people to realize cigarettes killed you, right? Mm-hmm. What was that, 30 years or something? 20 years before they, before they were like... <sighs> Longer than that. Actually, I think uh, lung cancer is linked to this thing that everyone's doing, Dude, right? People were smoking back in the Doctors were 1800s. smoking. Women were smoking while yeah. they're pregnant. It was like everywhere. Yeah, it dates back to like the 1800s. Absolutely. So Maybe even further. Um. Really, as much as it was like, oh, Jewel, oh, shut up, oh, deaths from Jewel, like, okay, fine. It really was. Like, and it was getting out of control. And kids were like, the thing of like making it really hot so that you could do those like crazy tricks and like the Olympics of like vaping and all of that <laughs> shit. Like, it literally, like, they're so stupid. If you give that kind of stuff to the wrong group of people, i.e., kids yeah they're just gonna fuck shit up they're gonna eat tide pods they're gonna have vaping olympics and they're gonna die yeah yeah well we'll see my question is when the feds finally do legalize marijuana Mm -hmm. in all 50 states the age is going to be 18 for marijuana okay yeah so then what are they going to smoke it out of it's different because i don't see anybody smoking flour anymore it's all Pens. I know, and but it's not as much as smoking a cigarette. As you know, in the same way that people are chain smoking, they were vaping, right? So mm. the, the people that had smoked before tried to quit and um, started vaping. There was like two deaths of these people that did that. And they were like, no, they smoked. That's why they died. But they quit smoking and then started taking up vaping. And their family was saying that they were just because they could do it everywhere indoors but you know what i mean they were just literally just sitting there and vaping all day and night you know what i'm saying yeah yeah yeah. so that was the thing that fucked them up (laughs) smoking you have to at least go outside you have to at least find a like place to do it unless you smoke inside like a dirt bag but good for you um so that was the problem with it and it just like took them down like it just completely crushed their lungs you're just sitting there like yeah. this talking da 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 it's just constant so with weed you're not doing that right you yeah, smoke yeah, a little bit too high yeah. you smoke a little bit you get high right and then maybe later on the day you like up up it yeah but you're not sitting there just like inside no, outside every day while you're working out like so that was the problem with it unfortunately is that you could jewel everywhere so people did uh. and it just was horrible well i'm gonna Perfect. give you a heads up at home if you see me out in public and you're like oh hey uh, it's good. i saw you vaping somebody said that to me somebody hit me up on a message and i'll, I'll talk about it in a second there is no vape in there brother <laughs> it's weed oh yeah yeah. yeah yeah somebody was like we were at a, know, some sporting event somebody's like hey man i saw you at this this game uh i don't want to bother you you guys were you were you were vaping you look really intense into the game like into it and i was like what Bro, I was I like, wasn't that wasn't me. Vaping. Oh, like, oh, oh. You, it, no, you were smoking this. And I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> hombre, that's definitely no vape. That's weed like, pen. Oh, that's great. You can just bring those in the stadium. And I was like, well, Dan does. So, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice thing. Uh, so are sponsors. Jabe's our sponsors are nice things. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Oh, after this week, no offense. Whew. Cannot wait. You're going to ease it on down the road tonight. By myself. Yeah, you are. Don't come in. Because it's just going to oh, be me. me. Okay. Don't come in. Gotcha, gotcha. It's yeah. just going to be me in the ghost bed. Yeah. yeah. Getting to know each other. <laughs> I literally, when I leave, I look at the bed. I make it. Huh? I only make it so that I can look at it and be like, I'll fucking see you later, dude. <laughs> yeah. Because you know I can have fun when I'm dead, right? Yeah. Sleeping is... The best. And <laughs> my love for sleeping increased exponentially when we got the ghost bed. Don't you find that I go to bed a little bit earlier? A lot earlier. Than normal? Because I'm yeah. just like, oh, I just want to sit in there, watch TV, and yep. like be on that nice, comfortable bed. I love it so much. It's, uh, it's, it's great. They're the best. Look, best in the business. Um, we got one for a friend of ours. Uh, it's a gift. There's a lot for us. There's a lot for this show. I'm talking about Xander, Xander Pappas. Oh. Um, he's got a new place. Got him a, got him a G bed, sent it, sent it his way with a couple pillows. Did you tell him to keep the dog off of it? No. No, I didn't. Because you know that's going to happen. Xander. People sleep with dogs. You're going to fucking, that's, you're not changing that. <laughs> Jeez. 
People you, lay with dogs. I mean, what are you, you going to do? You can get somebody to quit smoking faster <laughs> than getting their fucking dog out of the bed. I can tell you that. <laughs> Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. 25% off every single item in the entire store. I know what you're saying. That can't possibly work with the 36 month pay as you go program. Yes, it does. And it knocks it down to like, fuck man, 26, 28 bucks a month. It's amazing, dude. Um, they extended it. There was a, a few listeners who had written in and said, hey, man, I missed the deal um, by like a day. And uh, look, Ghostbed actually reads those comments. They they read all their fucking emails. They're great. There, there's a reason why we've been with them for years. Um, they listen and uh, and they fucking extended it, dude, to January 14th at midnight. So go. 25% off everything so in the tonight, entire store. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinker bros. You nope. have to get it today. Uh, no, it's, it's Tuesday at midnight. Oh, okay. So, Bye tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Tuesday at midnight. Not at oh. the crest of midnight. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, next up. Oh, did you bring Brooke that strike force energy? No, she's leaving. Uh, oh, to go to the game. That's right. That's right. She Fuck. gone. Uh, she out of here. She out of here. She gone. Oh, wow. Wow, um, wow. Oh, well, so I didn't give Big it to her. She should, I think she's getting back tomorrow at some point. No, the game's... Oh, yes, yes, you're right. Yes, you're absolutely right. Um, but I didn't know if the celebration... The game on Monday now, which is so annoying. Eh. The, the annoying part is that you have to wait 83 days between the playoff and the fucking national championship. Like, we haven't had college football in weeks at this All point. Right, I mean, calm down. I didn't want to start a whole I, I was trying to think if they it. had a parade, though. That's why I was wondering um, if she would stay for that, if they win. Um... NFL does it. Uh, I don't know if college does, actually. Because uh, most of the kids are out, I think, still. No, because of the later date. Uh, the kids have to be back in school now. Maybe they will. Eh, maybe they will. Might not see her for a while if LSU wins, but. <laughs> she just leaves the family. You know where my money's at. <laughs> you know where my money's at. Clemson, Dabo Sweeney, man. I just want to thank Christ, our, our Savior. He's the only thing. Wait, this is possible. I love Jesus, too, Dabo. Okay. Yeah, fuck. Okay. I love Strike Force Energy as well. Go to strikeforceenergy.com. Use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. Last longer than five hour energy. Um, zero carbs, zero sugars. This goes into anything. If you're at the game trying to stay up with the fight, dude. UFC in particular. Oh, it's late. It's, 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 not, it's, it's not late because we're on the West Coast. However, because it's a three hour time difference, the problem is there is. 87 undercards in a fight that big. So you're like, man, what? I, how long am I going to be here You have to stay energized, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I, my first one was um, in New York, uh, Madison Square Garden. I, I was, ironically, when McGregor won the double championship belt in uh, 2016. And I had never been to a UFC fight live before. And when I was there, like a, of a championship of that, of that magnitude, I was with Matt and he wanted to go, Early and see some of the undercards. Six hours. <gasps> no. Yep. We were there for six hours. No. Thank you. Watched all the undercards. Did Derek get that and, one too? Uh, no, he no. was the other one. But that one I knew. So that one I knew. After that, I was just like, let's go a little bit later. Hey, man, what fights do you really yeah, want to see? Yeah, yeah, and he yeah. was like, I'd like to see the two before. And I was like, same with me. So how about we, we hop on in after? After the rest of these undercards. Um, yeah. Because we had it on at a bar. It was on at a bar right outside the stadium. And so we knew. We were like, all right, great. As soon as this fight's over, we're walking in. And that's yeah. the beauty of Vegas is you can just do that shit. It's awesome. Um, so take these if you're going to the national championship. If you're going to the fights, uh, take some Strike Force Energy with you. Tasty tiny little tin pouch. StrikeForceEnergy.com, promo code REVOLUTION. Last but not least, StraightRazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. Oh, you like it? Oh, it stings. Ooh, a I bit. went like higher on the last it's... part. Jamie didn't take them off in time, did you? Stinks. Oh, it stinks. Poor a little Jamie. Bit. Uh, straightrazors.com is the reason why this mustache is so glorious. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird how, over the years, a man of my caliber sure. has been able to wear a mustache. With pride, where I'm not, I'm starting not to get those looks anymore. Yeah, where people are just it like, oh seems shit, normal. Yeah. yeah, it seems normal. It's like, hey, it's a fucking normal dude, man. That's probably his life. Sure. Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. Right. You know. 
Yeah. Uh, but the, the other part of my life is straightrazors.com. That's what keeps this beast in check. Come on. You got to tame the lion, brother. Do you use mustache wax I do. or oil? Uh, I use uh, mustache wax. So the oil for me, and this is just a personal preference, by the way. Uh, I think the, it's more for beards. Yeah, yeah it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it makes it look like sleeker and cooler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't want a mustache to look wet. <laughs> you know? It's like, oh. <laughs> Gross, dude. And who was sitting on his face earlier? Yeah. Who was 69ing with him? Ass, Nobody. cash, or grass. No one rides for free. You're going to have to sit down on the... Take a little, take a little ride on the stash. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you do not, Jesse. <laughs> do not. Ass, grass, or cash. No one rides for free. No one rides for free. No. On no. the mustache, or how does that end? Yeah, on the mustache. Mm. Come on, mustache rides are a dollar, Japes. For you, <laughs> half off. You give me two shiny quarters tonight. I'm not gonna. We can throw our couch out, and you can just sit right on down, on right on my face. You're welcome for that. Uh, straightrazors.com. You're always welcome for these reads. <laughs> I feel like we fuck them up every time. <laughs> Go to straightrazors.com. Use the promo code Revolution for 20 percent off, and uh, try it, kids. If you have a mustache out there, you know, I'll tell your lady to to take a seat, pop a squats on that face, give her a ride. No, Jesse? Let me know when you're done. <laughs> Please. <laughs> the womb broom is in effect. Nope. Okay. Still going too far. You're so gross, dude. Stop. I am I? Am I? I am I? I am I? Jesse. You am I? You don't treat me like this to people <laughs> in public. You don't sully don't my name. talk to me this way. To people in oh, public. Oh, old love, right? Old love. <laughs> you know? old Not to be love. confused with young love. Young right? love. Young love. <laughs> uh, I want to give you some kudos here. I want to I want to shout you out. I want to praise you a little bit. You're a great mom. Fine. Oh, thanks. Um, a lot of people don't know that. Um, they don't get to see you behind the scenes, obviously. Sure. You're a great mom, a great wife, and a great cook. Yesterday, our child came home with something from the bus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a picture that was drawn of a ninja, mm -hmm. and it just said, "Shut up, kid." Shut up, kid. On it. Now our kid is five. Mm -hmm. He was stoked because he loves drawing pictures. He loves drawing. He got a picture from somebody on the bus. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, it was a girl. So then yeah. I can kind of be like. Okay, is she flirting? Is she a bitch? I'm not sure. Obviously, you don't say that to him. Let's, no, let's no, I don't say. So look, look, I don't say any of this. So he runs up. He has the picture. Mom, look what somebody made me. I got a picture on the bus. I'm like, oh my gosh, awesome, buddy. I take it, read it. I said, who gave this to you? You know what I mean? He's <laughs> like, who was this? Just so I can fucking fuck her up. Yeah. But I'm like, who gave this to you? Um, her. And I was like. Okay, cool. So, like, I'm looking at her. I'm walking over to her. Yeah. She gets up, bolts into the woods. So, we have, like, these woods. <laughs> really? Yeah, surrounding <laughs> our <laughs> our area, our neighborhood, where the <laughs> playground is. There's all these woods, and the boys kind of go out there and play. We can kind of see them, but we're not walking out into the woods. It's always, like, yelling to get them. Right. And you can kind of see them playing their games in the woods. So, she sees me, bolts into the woods, bolts into the pines. I'm like, you better fucking stay there, bitch. So I had to go. I'm like, all right, let's just go. And um, <laughs> I'll deal with this a little. Um, but the, the thing that made me sad about it is how happy he was, right? If he was just like, hey, I got this I or I found it, I'd be like, oh, what is this? But how happy he was about it and so sweet and just like, I don't know. I don't know why it says that, right? So I had him draw the same exact picture because he's a... A Picasso. No, he's not. No, he's no, not. He's but not. he can trace things, right? So he saw it. He draw the exact same thing. And I had him write, don't tell me to shut up, kid, on it. <laughs> and he's going to give it to her on, on the, the bus. bus. And then I'm going to have to bring that other picture with me in case the mom wants to fucking go. Because <laughs> I need the receipt, right? Of yeah. like, well, this is what he got. So instead of punching her, I said, why don't you just write her back to not tell you, right? Yeah, yeah. Good mom, debatable. I guess we'll see... Old, when he's older and right. therapy needs to come into play. Mm -hmm.
but this is how I'm handling it. Wow. Well, we'll see. I like it. TBD. Deeps. I'll I'll keep you updated on what Deeps. what happens when the mom finds the picture that says "Don't tell me to shut up, kid" with a ninja written on it. Oh boy. Maybe she'll be like, "Oh, hopefully she'll be like, did you tell someone to shut up?" Yeah. Well, Little we'll see. Bitch will probably fucking lie. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say to her. That's the other thing is I get very, as you know, we've said on this show before. You get nervous. No, I get, fuck you, dude. I don't get nervous. I'm saying like, Boob if sweat. something happens to the kid, right? He gets hit. It's something like my first instinct is to go up to the other kid and yeah. be like, what the fuck? Right. Yeah. Get in his face and be like, do not ever. Right. Yeah. Say things that like, if they told their mom, I'd be like, I never said that to a liar. Right. Yeah. So I like. That's my instinct. I'm trying to now let them work it out because he's five. They need to work it out. We can't have your mom come into the fucking rescue all the time, right? Like that's more embarrassing. Right. So I'm trying not to do that. So when I was like walking up slowly to her, I was kind of like, what am I going to say? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. I'm just going to be like, did you draw this? Is this you? Right? What yeah. would I even do? I don't know. So I didn't have it thought out, which is good that she ran into the woods. Yeah, probably, probably. I uh, I said something weird uh, right before Christmas when I was at Walmart to a kid. Um, I was uh, with my I had my basket full of toys and all that stuff. Oh, for Christmas, yeah, yeah. buying Christmas toys for uh-huh. the kids, and I was by myself. Uh-huh. And, uh, I turned the corner, and this kid was like, I don't know, seven, eight years old. Just he was on a bike because you can ride those bikes around Walmart. Nobody gives a shit, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm yeah, I do it all. The time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I put stuff in the back basket. Yeah, that I want to get. So he's looking right at me, and then just drives it right into my fucking cart, and then just kind of smiles, you know. And I go, sure. "Hey, fuck off!" No, you didn't. I did exactly like that, right? And, to the um, kid. I did to the kid, and it, and he goes. You always take it too fucking far. Here's the thing, far, Jesse. Though. You always take it too fucking far, Jesse. Here's the thing. He goes, you can't say that to me. Real cocky, like, you know, arrogant. How old was he? I, I would say eight or nine, probably. Somewhere in that range. Hey, we know some eight or nine year olds who were dicks. I don't want to hear it. You know better. He knew what he was doing. Anyways, I go, hey, man, fuck off. And he goes, you can't say that to me. Real arrogant, like. And I go, yeah, I can. You know why? Because I'm by myself and no one will believe you. And then I just walked away <laughs> and I left him with that forever. Horrible, horrible, horrible I can only imagine horrible, him going home horrible. and saying, hey, somebody told me to fuck it. Where? Who? No, you just made that up. I was gone. Yeah. Actually, they would look over at you with your Yankees hat and mustache and probably believe the kid, to be completely honest with you. <laughs> I didn't have the stash then. <laughs> oh, that's your defense? I didn't have the stash, so now I'll be a bit more careful when I, when I tell children to fuck off. Yeah, because I had so much shit in my car. I had that giant uh, stuffed green dinosaur in there, like... Things were overflowing, and it was just like, you know, something fell out of the cart, and I was like, you fucking dick. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, sure. Knew, I saw him, and I saw him veering right toward me right. on purpose, right. like, with well, intent in his look, eyes. I'm not saying you're wrong. And hate in his heart. He's a little dickhead. Yeah. You're not wrong. Either way, I gave him the Bill Murray. I just said, okay. ah, no one will ever believe no you. No one will ever believe you. I it's like great. It. I like it. It was really great. Uh, <laughs> you said some horrible shit to children, so. I don't think I say fuck, though, but I oh, really? will. No, I won't curse at them, Okay. but I will definitely get in their face and don't you ever. Yeah. Or if I'll be like, if you ever, Sorry. right, kick him again, touch him again. That's how it used to be when he was younger. Like I said, now I can't be doing that. Yeah, you can't I've be. I've got to let him work it out. But there is one kid that I don't like as if he's an adult. Same here. I know exactly who that is. Yeah. And I just He's like fucking nine, right? Eight, I nine? just no, really nope. younger. Oh. And I just look at him. Yeah, I know that kid too. As he walks by, yeah, give him one of these a dirt bag. Yep. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Don't curse. Don't call him names or anything. He just knows. Yeah, yeah I like that. Long that game. One of the moms playing the long game doesn't like him. Can you imagine? <laughs> if he had any awareness. He would maybe know. You're playing the long game, Jabes, and I like that. I really am. I like that about you. Uh, let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day, shall we? We shall. I know I said it before. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it one more time, uh, probably for the last time. Mac Miller. Um, That's right. Dude. So I did not know they were doing this. I did not know that, that there was another album left. 
and that he it was had already he was working on yeah it, it, he was almost done. I, it yeah. just needed to be mixed i yeah, guess yeah yeah and um so it just popped up out of nowhere there was a, a simple instagram card uh from the parents that just said mm-hmm. look this will be our only statement regarding this he was working on this album to complete it was the second part of the other album um that album was called swimming this one's called circles and he meant for these two albums to be swimming in circles Mm -hmm. and uh i had no idea and they were like we're not going to put out anything else so just enjoy the music and yeah don't ask we miss him as much as you do um and then they put the album cover up that statement and it just said january 17th uh the new single came out last night along with the video um and uh, boy it's called good news i love i loved first of all i love this song um and I'm not saying this just because he's gone. I, I'm, I genuinely love the song. Because uh, there's some times where it's just like, oh, man, you want to get into something and you're like, fuck. Like the, I remember when Biggie died, the album mm-hmm. that came out. Oh, yeah. Two, but that not, was not, different. But the one later, like I just didn't dig and I was just like, fuck, man. I wish you would have left it on the one that he passed away on. But, um, you know, this one, luckily, it's called Good News. The, the, the first song off the album is amazing. I thought the video is fucking incredible he's in it um they use footage of him in the studio recording it nice. and uh it's just a really fucking cool well thought out video and album cover and all of that shit and you know again for the kids of pittsburgh like that was their dude like he was a high school student when he made uh best day ever album which is still one of my favorites um to this day and uh yeah, fuck, man. It's sad, but I, I'm happy it's there's no the music. kind of awesome, though. I'm happy there's no the music. I'm Very sad because... Very rare that an album comes out posthumously, whatever. Uh, that is good. Well, I haven't heard the rest of it. Um, so the rest of it drops People on the 17th. People are going but crazy the, over yeah, it. Well, the first but single yeah. is great. Yeah. Really, really good, and it's long. It's not a fucking Kanye 90-second bullshit. Like, it's a fucking five-minute song where you're like, yo. Dang. And it talks about him being at peace with death. It's, it's eerie as shit. Eesh. Yeah, but in the watch the video if you give it a shot. Like, is there some form of it, there's animation and then, but he's also in it. Um, and then at one point, like he's gone, and then it's just his dog in the passenger seat, and you're just like, Ugh. it's great. It's really fucking good, um, and really creative. I don't know who did that video, but it's it's awesome. Uh, the other song I heard today, by the way, um, new banger dropped was uh, Drake and Future. Mm. I enjoy that song. I enjoy mm. that video. Mm. Um, the video is really good. Video is good. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't like the song? No, I do. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The video is really good. Though, it's right? one uh, Drake Drake songs. I guess like some of Quentin Tarantino's movies. I have to hear a couple times, and then so I so funny you said that. Love it. I, that's exactly what I think about most of Drake's music. Mm-hmm. And Where I first hear it and I go, oh, "What the fuck?" And then when I hear it again, I'm like, "What's that?" I'm like, yeah, "Oh, that's yeah. the song I didn't really like." Yeah. yeah. And now I love it. <laughs> uh, it's he's weird like that. Man. He is. And I look. I watched that interview. He was on a podcast for. It was long, man. It was like two hours. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what his fucking deal is. I don't necessarily enjoy Drake. However, he's one of those people like Taylor Swift. I mean, I don't dig Taylor Swift as a as a human either, really. Mm-hmm. But. I'm able to recognize great music. And when they drop new shit, I'm like, oh, fuck. Mm-hmm. It makes you forget yeah, all yeah, over again. Yeah, You're like, yeah. well, and that's. No, it makes you remember that you don't have to like them as a person. Well, no, but it, uh, to me, it makes me forget about the bullshit and just like the music again. Um, whatever bullshit they're conjuring up in their own personal lives for whatever reasons. And uh, especially Drake and Taylor Swift, for Christ's sakes. It's just, a, it's just two single people in their 30s now who are just fucking drama. You're drama, like, bro, drama. you guys have been famous for a long time. Yeah. Should have picked out someone a long time ago on this fucking road here. Um, Taylor Swift's been famous since 14 years old, for Christ's sakes. Like, she's not married. She's burning puppies. Um, well, too far. Okay. I just don't understand it. Well, I, there's something dark there. Okay. Something uh, dark in the closet. Bag of hair. <sighs> Who knows? Child's toenails. Her own. Um, But... With this, I'm like, oh, shit, fucking Drake's great. Forgot, you know? Yeah. Forgot again, and then he just keeps coming back. I the forgot lesson, again. <laughs> the, lesson that I, yeah, the lesson that I take away from this 
with Drake and artists like Taylor Swift is with great music and hits all the time, doesn't fucking matter what you do in this life. True. Um, as long as you fucking drop bangers, it doesn't matter what you do. Uh, you can always be successful. Crazy, right? So crazy. So crazy. So crazy. Oh, so crazy. Uh, thanks for tuning in, kids. We had a blast today. Again, subscribe to Drinking Broettes tonight at 8 p.m. EST on iTunes. Um, man, I'm excited for you, Jabes. Me too. Congratulations. I'm Thank proud you. of you. I'm proud Thank of you. you. Um, Thank you, guys. All your dreams are coming true. Thank you, guys. Subscribe on iTunes, Spotify, and you can always check out the videos on YouTube. They're all all on the Drinking Bros podcast page Ooh. now. Uh, Ross Patterson Revolution, Drinking Bros podcast, Drinking Broettes, Drinking Bros sports. The media company is in full swing. Enjoy it, kids. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.